Chief guest of today's program, Sri Sahaj Malaradi Sir, Minister, Government of Telangana. Guest of honor, Dr. Kadavari, Associate Professor, NIT Warangal. Dignitaries on the stage, like Director Rasakar Yadav Sir, Director Jayakishan Yadav Sir, and Principal, Deans, HODs, Invited Guests, Teaching, Non-Teaching Staff Member, Last but not the least, the student friends and their proud parents. A very good afternoon to all of you. In fact, today I am so excited to see you all back in campus. And it is almost months together that you have left the campus and you took out your time from your busy schedule and you are all here and assembled in this auditorium. For this galaxy of intellectuals, let us have a big round of applause for our own success today. I remember you all in the year of 2019, when you had taken your admission into engineering, you all are sitting here and we all were on dice and we were talking about it. We were talking and I was explaining to you all how the journey of engineering will be and how this four year has to be taken. And today, the day you had taken your admission and the dream was for you to complete your engineering degree, we take degree and go out with the degree certificates. And today is the day to celebrate such a great deal what we had seen before four years and today the moment has come for that celebration. And I would like to congratulate you all for completing your degree and today you are all going to be awarded with your BTEC degree certificates. A second round of congratulations to all of you and your proud parents. Because the first step of success is getting into engineering and the second step of success is getting a degree, engineering degree in hand. So now you have crossed your second step and now you all are signing star of different companies and some of you have started your own company and some of you are interested to pursue your higher education and you are doing so. So it is really a great moment because with this thought you all have taken your admission engineering and today we could be able to see in front of our eyes that we are, our students are flourishing and whatever the career path they had decided for themselves, now they were all attaining. So, in this junction, I would like to congratulate all of you for getting your degrees and also I would like to I would like to tell you some of the things which you can take it for your uh, enhancing your skill set or I will say that to uh, make your career in a very successful manner. See nowadays you know majority majority of the students irrespective of the branch like whether they are the mechanical student or they are electrical student or they are civil engineering student majority of the students are interested to work in software companies and still some students are interested to work in core companies. So earlier the trend was different in the core companies and in the software companies or we will say that the MNCs. Now everywhere the global culture is coming up. One thing is what, there are two things we need to analyze. One is what, getting the job. How I will get the job in the tough competitions? That is one thing. And another thing is, once you get a job, how I will sustain and succeed? Two things. So now, the first phase of your career is already done. You are into a job. Now, the second thing which is what? I have to sustain on my job. And sustaining will not fulfill my dream or the objective of the life. I have to succeed. And how to do that one? See, nowadays in the newspaper also you might be reading, okay, a company like Apple has removed so many employees, Omnigen has removed, Wipro has removed, Infos seems to be a, seems to be a very stable company, 
Mind Tree seems to be a very stable company, but they were also laying off. Why it is so? Why it is happening? Is it all there are no works in the company? Is it all they are not getting the projects? No, not like that. Only the thing is what? Upgrading the skill set. The employee who are all recruited. And you know, the companies, the technologies, how rapidly it is all changing. Today one version of one operating system is there. Tomorrow you will see another version. Today one programming language is in use. After 15 days that might not be there. There might be another programming language. So the changes are so dynamic, we have to update our skill set and we have to cope up with the changes. So it's not like that jobs are not available. It's not like that the companies are not getting the work orders. It is all to upgrade our skill set. And why I am telling to you this one on this graduation day? Because it gives so much of disappointment for us if we hear that some of some anyone who is from Saint Martin has been removed or not promoted or not considered for the increment in their career too. And this may happen with anyone. So that is why let us all have the faith of <coughs> learning and let us have a continuous attitude of learning and let us all have the we have to upgrade our skill set. Then definitely the success will come to you and you all will be, now you all are successful, you all will be very much successful in your career which we will be very glad to see and listen from you all. And this is not the end, as a student tenure, your life, as a B.Tech student tenure, your life is totally you know, closed with today as a B.Tech student. So, next day onwards, whenever you visit to the institution, you all will be our guests and we will be giving you a forum for you that the alumni meet. And every year we conduct an alumni meet and you all will be guests for us and we will be inviting you to join. And in this alumni meet, every year we would like to listen from you what is happening in your life, what are all changes you have done and what are all career growth you have uh, no, achieved in your career. So that we will be eagerly waiting to listen from you all. So in this junction, as all the day you know, so this base, normally I treat, you have taken the admission in the academic year 1920, right? Okay, so this base, always I treat it as a very lucky base for all of us, including the St. Martin Engineering College. And there are so many reasons for it. One is what? The day you step inside the institutions, same year, we got NAC A plus grade, which is a remarkable achievement because only 27 colleges across India awarded with NAC A plus grade and St. Martin is one among them. And that same year, we got NIRF ranking too. That is the first time we got the NIRF ranking for the institution. And in the same year, we attained the autonomous for 10 years, 1920 years. So, there are so many graduation day we have celebrated before this, but this graduation day is really special for us because you all the graduate, you are all going to receive your degree with the tag of autonomous because this is the first time we are conferring the degree as an autonomous institution and you are all the lucky students who are all going to take the first degree from this institution and this is what the history creating and memorable incident which is all we are going to celebrate today. So, so that is why I told you your badge is a very lucky badge and we will never forget your badge and we will never forget you all. So as there is a practice, whenever I give a talk, I used to, during your student tenure, I used to tell a small story to you just to motivate you. So today also as this is the last day of your student tenure, because next whenever you come you will not be our student, you will be our guest. Okay. So I thought I will tell you a last story. Okay. Then we will meet in the alumni meeting. 
So, so one village was there, and husband, wife, and one small eight year kid was there. One boy. Okay. So that husband was working somewhere. He was doing some job, and they were very like no lower middle class people. So whatever the salary he brings, with that only he maintains his family. Okay. So wife is there, and one son is there. So what happened? Due to some some reason, okay, the husband lost the job. So when he lost his job, so immediately there is a stop of income to the family. So the entire ecosystem of the house is disturbed. And all the time when the father was working, this small boy, eight years old boy, he used to get a hundred rupees every month as a pocket money. So he can spend for purchasing chocolates, ice creams, whatever he wants. Hundred rupees he used to get. Okay, every month whenever his father will get uh, get the salary, immediately he will go to his mother and mother will give him hundred rupees. So that that was going on. So as I told you, now job is not there and the ecosystem is completely destroyed. Means what happened to that hundred rupees? That is also gone. Okay, so that small boy was not getting his pocket money, which is worrying him a lot. But what he can do? He could able to see his father is in big tension, mother is in big tension. Every day morning on the wall they have put some God's photo and they were going there and they were praying. Okay, so the small boy he could able to see all such. So what happened? So he was thinking. Okay, so my father, mother every day they are praying to this God. I don't know whether the message is reaching to the God or not because God is no in the photo only they were doing. They are not doing in front of the real God. Small kid, whatever the thought it came to his mind. So he decided one idea. And what idea? It is little intelligent idea he did. And you listen interestingly how what he did that God. So that boy decided to write a letter to the God. So he took a postcard and he wrote a letter to the God. But this is what the problem is. But my concern is, I am concerned about my, about my hundred rupees. Okay. So somehow, at least you take time to give a job to my father, but arrange my hundred rupees. To whom he wrote? To God directly. Okay. And he wrote the address also to Lord Shiva. Have an address in pin code. Some pin code he put it. Okay. Then he went to the post office and he dropped. So then the postmaster is there, who used to open the box and he used to segregate the letter. Okay, which letter will go to which district and all. And he could see, he could able to see such a peculiar letter. Somebody has written to the God and addressing to the heaven. Then he started reading and he read the entire story. And also the student, he has mentioned that boy. He has mentioned all the addresses also. Please don't forget to send this hundred rupees. This is my home address, and I stay in that house. Okay. So he thought that okay. So somebody has made made a fun of the post office and all. So he tore the letter and the thrown in the dustbin. So as there were no response coming, so after a week, what that boy did? He repeated the same thing. Again, it went to the same postmaster, and he started reading. Then, as it is a village atmosphere, everybody knows each other. Okay, so the postmaster also knows that one or that person is not having the job. So, what he decided, he called the postman who goes to each house and you know deliver the letter. He told that one, go and give fifty rupees to, to this boy, call that boy, and tell that one that God has sent. And why the postmaster did that one? Because he wanted to care the small boy's emotion. Okay. So the postman went. That boy was called, and fifty rupees was given. And that postman told that one, money order has come from God. Okay. So this is the money for you. He was so happy. At least no parents are calling. You know, God is not responding, but he wrote a letter, and there is a response. So he wrote. So, uh, so he took that happily and he started enjoying that money. Next month there was no money. Again he wrote a letter and again he got fifty rupees. So three months continuously he was doing like this. Then in the fourth month he wrote a letter. That letter is little strange. What he wrote? Dear God, thank you very much for sending money and receiving uh, like uh, uh, acknowledging my request. But only 
issue I have, the postman who is delivering the money to me, he is taking his commission of 50 rupees and delivering me only 50 rupees. I have requested 100 rupees, so arrange someone else to give 100 rupees to me directly. I can't believe this postman. Okay. So this is why. So, you might be thinking, on the graduation day, why I am telling this story to you? Because, because, the always life is entirely different from the workplace. And we are all going to work in a different place with different people. Who is our friend? Who is our enemy? We do not know. Some people who comes and speaks to us for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, give a sweet talk or call for a coffee and all, cannot be treated as a good friend and that situation should not be given in such a way that when you start opening your mouth and start opening your mind and heart. Should not be. Okay, so we do not know. We have to take time. We have to take time to understand. So only one ethics has to be followed in the company. Sincerity, hard work and listen to everyone, don't open your mouth. That's all. Don't believe. See, he will take a coffee with you. He will join for breakfast with you. He will go and tell to the project manager that this is what he was telling, to get his promotion done. This all happens. This is all bitter fact of the life. This all happens. Why I am telling to you this? This kind of mistake, this kind of innocency negligence should not be done by any of the San Martin engineering firm. You should not regret after that. Why I told? I should have not believed it. Why I told? So that should not be. So that is why, why I am telling this one to you, should be utmost responsible because all the day you are in a confined circle and here people are there, faculties were there, HODs were there, we were there and we used to tell to you, console you, advise you, punish you, we want, the objective is to correct you. You are not like our enemy or something. Okay, we wanted to correct you. But now all these things, within a minute of time, everything has gone from you. Now you are totally open to this guy. Whatever you want, you can do. Whatever you want to talk, you can do. All these things. But that should not be exploited to damage your career. So that is why I was you know, narrating this uh, story to you. Even that postmaster wanted to do a help to this boy, but the anticipation of the boy was in other way. So that is what it happens in the companies, in the corporates, and in the outside world. So we have to be very, very careful on that. So in this, again, I take this opportunity to thank you all for taking out your time and joining with this memorable event today along with your parents. And this day is really going to be a memorable one because this day you are all eagerly waiting before four years when you took admission into engineering. With this small note, I wish you all a very bright future and I wish you all to have a very enjoyable day and the moment uh, for which you have all assembled here and have a great day ahead. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening to me.